for number one, um, they're asking how many of the shirts would be medium. And they're telling us that 55% of the shirts are medium. Well, there were 80 shirts, so 55% of 80 would give us our answer for the number of medium shirts. There are three different methods you could use. You can make the 55% into a decimal and multiply that times 80. Keeping in mind when you see the word of between two numbers, you're multiplying. So we could multiply that. Count our two decimal places and our answer would be 44 shirts. The second method is again using multiplication, but it's changing the percent into a fraction, then multiplying that times 80, which 80 would become 80 over 1. And we cancel what we can. And we get 44 over 1, which equals 44 shirts. Sure. So we had method one where we changed the percent to a decimal. Method number two changes the percent into a fraction and we multiply in both of those. The third method is making a proportion. The ratio for 55% would be 55 to 100. And since 80 shirts represents the whole batch of shirts, the 80 would go at the bottom with the 100 for the 100%. The variable would be the number of medium shirts which is represented by the 55%. So then you would cross multiply. We multiply 55 times 80. And you would have to divide both sides by 100. And N would be 44 shirts. So you pick whatever method you prefer. For number three, we're multiplying 12% times 56. So again, we can take the decimal method and multiply 12% times 56. We have two decimal places in the problem, two decimal places in our answer. So that would be two and 72 hundredths. You can make the fraction. You can make 12 into a fraction and multiply that times 56 over one. Now, when you're dividing, you have to divide 25 into 168. Oops. Before I go any farther in this problem, dividing, I need to fix my answer over here. Added and didn't bring down the 6. Okay, over here, when you're dividing 25 into 168 to fix this improper fraction, when you get to this point with your remainder, you can just put the remainder over the divisor and you can leave your answer as 6 and 18 25 since it cannot be reduced. You can, if you would like, put the decimal in 0, bring the decimal down and continue dividing, then you would get the decimal over here 6 and 72 hundredths. Next method would be the proportion, where you can write 12% as a ratio, which equals a number out of 56. 56 again is the total, so it goes in the bottom with the 100. Then we cross multiply. When you multiply 12 times 56, you get 672. You divide both sides by 100. Remember the quick way to divide by 100 on a problem like this is move the decimal to the left two times. And you get 6 and 72 hundredths. Now, a number 2, the problem is telling us that they read, um, she read 25% of the book in 5 hours, and they're asking you how long will it take for her to read the rest of the book. Well, if you set up a proportion and you're 25 is written as 25 to 100. When you go to set up the other half of the proportion, you have to keep in mind 
that 25% of the book was read in five hours. So the five has to go up top with the 25%. We'll actually be solving for the total amount of time it would take her to read the entire book. So when we cross multiply, we get 25N equals 500. Then we divide both sides by 25, and N would equal 20. Now 20 would be the number of hours it would take to read the entire book. The question is asking how much longer will it take her to read the rest of the book. Since she has already read for five hours, we have to subtract that out to get the time for the rest of the book, which would be 15 hours. Now for lesson 10, you're able to use your calculator. And when we're asked for a discounted price, the discount price, there's a quick way to do this on the calculator. You will take the price of the item, hit the minus key, anything in a rectangle is, represents a calculator key. Then you're going to hit in the number of the percent and then hit the percent key to find out how much you should leave for a tip. You'll put in the cost of the meal times the number of the percent, since a tip represents only a percentage of the total bill. Here in discount, we would take the original price and have to reduce it by the amount of the discount, so we're subtracting. Tip is a separate amount that is left aside from the total amount of the bill. When we're dealing with tax and we have to find a total cost with tax included, we're going to take the price and we're going to have to add to that the percent of the tax, since tax represents an amount that, we, that would increase the price of an item. So to do number one, they're telling us that Noreen wants to buy a necklace that originally is $8.49, but it's 10% off. So we would have to punch into our calculator We would have to punch in $8.49. Since it's a discounted price that we're looking for, we're going to subtract because a discount means the price is going to go down. We'll hit 10 and the percent key. And up pops our answer, but notice there are three decimal places. And for money, we can have only two places. So we're going to have to round this four. We bring, whoops, accidentally cleared it out. The answer was. that answer back up. It was $8.49 times $8.49 minus 10%. We had seven and six hundred forty-one thousandths, but we're going to have to round to the nearest cent. So we round the four and we look behind it and there's a one. That would tell us we would round to $7.64. Number two, they're asking us how much should the tip be? Well, if we want to find out just the tip, we would have to put in the cost of the item, the cost of the meal, twelve dollars and fifteen cents, and multiply it times the fifteen. I'm sorry, the twenty percent tip that they're leaving to find out what just twenty percent of the bill would be. Okay, that was obviously wrong. All right, don't know why this calculator. This calculator is not working like the ones we were using in class. So um, there would be your tip, $2.43. Number three is asking us for the total cost, including the tax for the bicycle. So we would have to punch in the original cost of the item, $139.75, and to that we are going to have to add the 8% tax. And that would give us the total cost of the bike, which would be $150.93.